Edmonton was treated to vibrant red and green northern lights last night. Although beautiful, they can create problems with satellites, communications, and even the power grid. Amanda Anderson explains why. Streaks of bright green and red lit up the night sky Tuesday, a display of the aurora borealis, unlike anything some have seen before. These ones weren't really moving the same way, but a beautiful color. A little bit of green mixed in, but not too much movement. So pretty, though. The show, the result of the sun releasing two bursts of electrically charged particles, which then hit the Earth's magnetic field. Just the, the sheer volume, the energy that basically was absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere gases, that gave us that red that we saw. The green is a little bit lower down in the Earth's atmosphere. Many people shared photos, captivated by the abundance of red in the sky. Heard all about it, saw so many pictures, and I went outside and there were none. Frank Florian says there's a reason some may not have seen the red in all its glory. You look up there and you don't see anything, but a camera, the sensors on your camera are very sensitive to the broad spectrum of light, and they'll be able to pick up that red, which the human eye can't. Northern lights may be nice to look at, but the combination of electrically charged particles and the magnetic field Field can wreak havoc here on Earth. In 1989, I believe, in March, there was a huge auroral display that also blew out uh, one of the uh, generators uh, for Quebec Hydro, uh, costing billions of dollars to repair. So it affects everything from phone transmission. So if your cell phones were acting up yesterday, you may have uh, that may have been associated with this event as well. Epcor tells CTV News it hasn't had any issues so far, but solar storms can affect equipment or cause voltage fluctuations. That's why it increases monitoring and takes proactive steps to protect the grid when geomagnetic activity is detected. Florian says the sun goes through an 11-year solar cycle, which right now is at its max. So in about six years' time, you may not see much of anything of the aurora, maybe a few nights here and there, but not as much as we see right now. The northern lights are expected to return. I'm going to get my phone out tonight instead and try and look at them. Tonight's display predicted to be even more energetic and chaotic than last. Amanda Anderson, CTV News, Edmonton.